Good morning, Park Church family, and welcome to day 35. That's right, we are 35 days away from living 100 years of faith. We are that close to our gala celebration and our homecoming service. I encourage you, purchase your tickets today after service. You don't want to miss out because we are about to sell out. Trust me, take my word for it. If you can't do it today, no problems. Go to our website and you can purchase tickets online. But also today, we are in week two of our Life Mission Month. We are unleashing the love of Jesus Christ to everyone in every way, in every place we have the opportunity, and we need your help to continue to do so. We have so much going on as we partner with organizations, as we extend ourselves beyond ourselves. And one of the ways that we're doing that is in partnership with Habitat for Humanity. Our women's ministry will be partnering with Habitat for Humanity on Saturday, October 19th to build homes. If you want to get involved and get connected, contact the women's ministry at womensmen at upbc.org or contact our church offices for more information. It's that time of year again. Mark your calendar for the Park Church Love Unleashed Revival with Reverend Dr. Charles E. Booth of Mount Olivet Baptist Church of Columbus, Ohio. I don't understand what's wrong with some of you. You go into battle and you go up against the devil and the devil comes up against you and you want to fold your cards and throw it in. Not realizing that you got somebody by your side. And the somebody by your side says, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. Service will be held Monday, October 21st through Wednesday, October 23rd at 6.30 p.m. nightly at the Park Church Beatty's Ford Road location. Bring your family, friends, co-workers, and neighbors as we unleash the love of Jesus Christ through the dynamic worship and unhindered praise. You don't want to miss it. And we wrap up Life Mission Month with Hallelujah Fest. That's right. It's that time of year again where we come together at the Park Church Independence for an evening of food, fun, and fellowship for the entire family. Bring everyone out. And we need candy donations. So if you would like to donate candy, fun games, any supplies, please contact Reverend Jacotrin Potts at jpotts at upbc.org to make this Hallelujah Fest one to be remembered. We at the Park Church value growing in the Word of God, learning, serving, and extending the love of Jesus Christ to those who may not know Him. And then the ways that we do this are through our discipleship courses. We have so many ways and opportunities for you to grow in your walk with Jesus, to learn biblical teachings, and to get the knowledge that you need so that you can speak about a Jesus to a lost world. So we invite you to come out to our Sunday school classes on Sundays. We invite you to sign up for a life group. We encourage you to join a Bible study. But we also invite and encourage you to come out on our Wednesdays, our wonderful Wednesdays, where for the past few weeks, we have heard the Word of God preached by our ministers in training here at the Park Church Beatty's Ford Road location. We have a couple of weeks left, and you don't want to miss so the seeds that are being sown through the messages that are being delivered by our MRTs that you don't miss. So meet us here at the Park Church Beatty's Ford Road at 630 on Wednesdays so that you cannot miss the Word of God preached by the people of God. In October, this is not just Life Mission Month. This is also Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And we at the Park Church have a no tolerance policy for domestic violence. As you will see throughout the church, there are silhouettes of individuals with stories about domestic violence. And we want you to take it seriously, just like we do. If you feel that you're in a situation where you are being challenged in a relationship that is not loving but more violent, we encourage you to reach out to our counseling ministry. We invite you to contact the church office so that you will not be alone as you go through this challenge. This is a serious matter and our pastor, Bishop Alexander, takes this subject seriously. Well, Park Church family, there's nothing else to say except to stand on your feet to raise holy hands as we enter into the Park Church worship experience.